Well, again there, YouTube fans, this is the Creepy Doll Man here, back with an all-new episode. It is September the 11th, 2017. Time is 12.51 a.m., but that is wrong because it should be 12.53 a.m. because the clock is two minutes off and behind. Okay, we are revisiting Cheyenne, the Haunted Doll. Now, the first reveal deal video a lot of people have seen. This is a new video. And the reason why I did this because I brought up in the topic last time in Communications with Our Spirit Friends, Part 4, The Resurrection, that I wanted to bring up a topic to find the true name that dwells, true haunted spirit that dwells within this doll I named Cheyenne. And we have found out in our communications and our investigations with both me and Creepy Ghost Hunter Jr. that the true name of this Spirit that dwells, female spirit that dwells with this doll. Her name is Brooklyn. Brooklyn was born sometime in 2004. Didn't specifically give us a month or date. She died somewhere in 2016. Uh, complications unknown how she died. Was it violent or was it natural? Now I didn't receive this doll until early June before Sissy's death. And I may speculate it gave it, you know, a factor of a name of what I put on it. How I said it in the ordeal, what I stated. Was it fictional or was it real? It could be fictional because I said I, I, I left it fictional. But the true nature that this doll has attacked me at least a couple times violently. Uh, people don't see that having a haunted doll or possessed doll, they can attack you. I decided to bring back the topic, and uh, she also told us her age when she died. She was 13 years old, and uh, I guess she sees me as a follower figure. So I have to respect that. When you adopt a doll, you don't just adopt what's the doll itself. You're adopting the spirit within the doll. So you don't know what you're bringing in your house when you bring it in here. It could be haunted or it could be possessed, meaning a demonic spirit. And a lot of them will lie, but they give us good information of how they died. And even though know, they try to deceive us, a demonic spirit will, you know. They give us good information of someone else's death, meaning they do an identity theft. Just like anyone does today in real reality, the spirits do the same. So in this case, we now know the true name of the haunted spirit that lives within her. Her name is Brooklyn. But shall we change the name from Cheyenne, the Haunted Doll, to Brooklyn, the Haunted Doll? I prefer to leave the name untouched. And a lot of fans, whether you like it or not, will have to deal with it. And this goes down to any idiot on social media that may trash talk the uh, creepy doll man. So I'm going to fire back and give a little controversy, a little bit more that I didn't mention in the last video. And I just say why I hate social media. There's a few things I let out. Another thing I let out that social media is another thing for evil is there's cyber bullies on there. And it sees the law of the day does not stop them as well as they say they do. There are too many cyber bullies out there online today attacking both boys and girls, young people. And that's why a lot of young people take their life and, you know, kill themselves because of bullies. So I tell the bullies out there, y'all should go to, go to hell for I give a shit. And sorry about my language. And God forgive me what I said on that last ordeal. This is not a PG-13. It's more like an R ordeal in my ordeal of my bad language. So I said, forgive me for my bad language. But I am mad and furious about this. And there's always one fool out there on social media likes to run her or his mouth. A little too much. Now we know the true nature of the name. But there's hopefully other Cheyennes out there won't be against me giving her the name. Because there'll be a lot of both young and old out there that might be against the name of Cheyenne the Haunted Doll. Now this wasn't my decision. Brooklyn decided she wants to keep the name Cheyenne the Haunted Doll. So if I have to illegally go before a judge and change the name, I will do so in adopter. Because she is a 13-year-old spirit within. So I would have to treat her like one of my children. 
Since the creepy doll man has no children. Plus the creepy doll man is single ladies out there. For any of you ladies out there that want to know me, I am truly single. Not married, but you know. All 65 of these or deal Hanu possessed dolls are my children. So they have some respect. They're the next best thing to children. I mean, I have one that's eaten over 450 years before 1 million BC, so she's far the oldest in this whole ordeal, and I'm talking about Queen, the haunted doll. And she is my baby, but she is the oldest and the most wisest spirit. So you gotta understand that when people adopt something, you know, it's how it is. When you go out to adopt, like, foster kids, you don't know what you're adopting, and the same goes if they have been molested by people, is that our governors don't control the stopping it, neither does the foster care. The crime is in the foster care itself. But as a matter of fact, that people adopt because they do it in good ways and in bad ways. In other ways, if people, you know, are single and they can't adopt a child because they have to be at least a parent, I mean, there had to be two parents present, male or female. You cannot have a child to adopt. Single parents cannot adopt. But they can adopt other things. They can adopt dogs or cats or some type of pet. There are some out there who adopt dolls. And you can adopt a doll no matter what it is, especially if it's a haunted doll or possessed doll or just a plain old doll. There's one crazy lady in Japan or China adopt a robot as a, you know, a child. So they're, they're more like my children. So I say back off to the people who, you know, put me down because I take care of them like my children. I treat them like my children, no matter if they are young or if they are old. The youngest is from four the oldest is even far older than all of us combined, meaning 450 years before 1 million BC. She's the far oldest in this room. I wish everybody can back off me. So now you know the nature of the true nature of this doll's name. But I think we'll allow her to keep the name because it's her decision. And I love her as one of my children. And I would say if someone would take one, take one of my children away. I would be angry as well because I would treat them like my children. No matter if they're alive or if they're dead, or they're still dwelling in their spirits in their bodies, in a vessel. Now, this is a creepy doll man saying, please check out all my videos, please subscribe, and uh, goodbye and God bless you all.